Greetings and salutations, my friends. This is The Voice at 106.7. Today we'll be playing Band Memories, a PS1-style game on that was found on Indie Jolt. Hi guys, Vox here. Somehow I managed to combine IndieDB with Game Jolt. I meant to say Game Jolt, and I ended up saying that. I'm an idiot who can't speak. Sorry about that. Moving on. It seems to be pretty popular uh, from last I saw it. Um, this should be interesting. It, this definitely brings back that whole um, that whole PS1 feel uh, with the graphics and just the style of the animation. So I'm kind of excited to play this, despite the fact that it's a horror game. And as seen in my previous episode... Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Oh, Jesus! I suck at them. In any case, uh, let's get started. Let's see here, controls. Okay, um, ADSW for tank controls. Uh oh, I see. Okay, space, interact with anything. Torch, aim weapon, fire weapon. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not even going to be using the mouse for this by the looks of it. Um, okay, shift, fire, we aim weapon, fire weapon with C, access inventory with Q, and, okay, all right, well, all right, let's, all right, let's get to it, <clears throat> all right, so let's see, ooh, difficulty level, fresh meat for those who are new to survival horror, enemies die easily, there are plenty of surprise scattered around, and enemies do less damage, you have played survival horror games before, items can be found at logical places, enemies do and take normal damage, You've played many classic survival horror games with limited amounts of backup supplies and health. Enemies do more damage. Survival horror games are your life. You've played Fear Effect, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Fatal Frame, Clock Tower, Overblood, Dark Seed, Juggernaut, Alone in the Dark, The Guardian of Darkness, Enigma, and Parasite Eve. Good luck. You know, I have played Parasite Eve, but I wouldn't really call it a horror game. I actually like the Parasite Eve series. I like them very much. Uh, especially their new, um, well, quote-unquote new. It came out, like, years ago, but... Um, that uh, PSP game, what was it? A 13th birthday? I love how it ties into the whole Parasite Eve uh, storyline. I really love that game. I still have it. I haven't finished it, though. Or have I? I don't remember. Um, you know, for the sake of my sanity, I think let's just do normal. Jesus, that's loud. Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, these graphics. Oh, these graphics bring up back so many memories. Wow. All right, there are four different keyholes, each with a different icon. When I'd like to leave, I'll probably need those keys. Okay. Wow, they were not kidding when they said tank controls. Holy jeez. Judging by the lanterns, there must be someone besides me. It's a local newspaper. It's dated the 14th of June, 1987. Can't imagine anyone being interested in news that old. At least, I am not. Okay. Find a, pill. Oh, find a flashlight. And I just stuck it through my chest. Look at that! I just stabbed it through my heart, and now it's just there in the hole that is in my chest. That is how I'm going to look at things. Rather than holding it logically in my hand, I'm going to stab it into myself. Good job, me. Alrighty. Oh, man. Oh, these graphics are nostalgic. Hallway south. Okay. I don't have a weapon yet, so... It's probably gonna be that hole. If they come at you, you run. I need the key to room 100 to open this door. There's a horrible smell coming from the other side. Okay. It was pretty loud, actually. I can't go through. Why? Snowflakes are falling from the sky in July. Something's not right. Okay. Okay, let's see what's in behind door number one. Okay. Room number one. Alright, what's in here? Seriously, these change of uh of these changes of view are really disconcerting. I cannot read Japanese. Oh, history notes from a student. It is the year 1993. Today, 358 years ago, the school was founded by Saki Ueda. That year opened the gates to success, spelled with only one S, for Yamanashi and her inhabitants. 
We will always remember that year. It is extremely important to all of us. Unknown student. Okay. You spin me right round, baby. Right round. Is that Gojira? Is that a Gojira poster? Gojira! Okay. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Seriously, can you not change the views like that? It's... Okay. Ah, here we go. It's an old clock. I can see the sh little shiny items stuck behind the little doors at the top of the clock. A little winding might help. Okay. Hmm? Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how to solve this puzzle. There must be something I'm missing then. Just any right here. Nothing here. Hmm. All right, class, listen up. Hmm. Today we'll be covering history of Japan. Um, um, I'm a horrible teacher. I'm actually just a substitute. Don't judge me, children. No, please don't throw eraser chalk at me. I'm leaving. Eraser chalk. What the hell is eraser chalk? Hmm. What's these books? These books are boring. Alright. Well, there's nothing in here. I think we've pretty much solved that. But there is a door on the other side of the room, so let's see what it leads to. There is no running. There is only... Opening it shall not. Opening it shall not. Okay. Opening it shall not. I'm glad to see that opening it shall not. Let's uh, leave and leave the puzzle for another time. All right, hallway south. Books are boring, especially these. Okay, there's a big door. There's a s letter on it. Snowflake? No, that that. No, nope. it's locked. Note on door to cafeteria. I've locked the door to the cafeteria so that the students don't come breaking in the middle of the night to get a snack. They can get pretty hungry at night, it seems. The key is on the teacher's desk in room 100. Please return it when you're done. Aoto Inoue. Isn't that where the horrible smell is coming from? Of course, that's where the horrible smell is coming from. Let's see what's behind door number two. What does she get, Johnny? Probably horrifying, mutilating death. It's quiet in here. It's quiet in here. I don't like that it's quiet in here. I still feel the zen floating around. That's not zen you're feeling, buddy. That's imminent death. What's this? Medicine. Sweet. Okay. Gong! Oh, can't get to ring it. A small school table. The drawer is locked. Okay. <clears throat> so I need to find the key to a small drawer. It's a wooden school table. It's strange that there's no chair around. Why do I get that feeling? I'm going to get that chair thrown at me. There was some medicine inside the drawer. You're giving me medicine. I'm probably going to die. Situation. What's the situation? Other than that douche from Jersey Shores. Memos. Memos. Nothing on memos. Key items? Nothing in key items. Okay. are boring, especially these. Okay. What am I missing here? I've already searched this table. Okay. Is there something in the corner of the room? Books are boring, especially these. But there wasn't books there. Hmm. What am I not seeing here? What am I not seeing? Yes, I can tell you still feel the zen floating around. Wait, was that an item on the floor there? Nope. 
These camera angles, oh man. They're nostalgic, but they're also annoying as hell. Okay, so there's nothing here. There's medicine. Okay, so I definitely need to solve that puzzle. Hmm. Okay, I bet you that small glittering item on the top of the cuckoo clock is the key to the drawer that I need. Okay. So there's some context clues that I'm missing here. Okay, that takes me back to the beginning. That takes me to room 100 where this horrible smell is coming from. Probably going to find a mutilated body in there. Probably the remains of the teachers, uh, the students who didn't do their homework. Hmm. Again, this place is unnecessarily unnerving. Alright, so Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Wait, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that note. Okay. Okay, it is the year 1993, 358 years ago. Okay, does the year or the number have to do... 358. 358. Maybe it's that? Maybe it's 358? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, cuckoo Clock of Doom. Alright, so... 3... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that was sheer dumb luck. That key fell out of the Cuckoo Clock. Okay, I get it. I know where that goes. That's probably to open the drawer in the small student's uh, desk. Ah, uh, fucking shit! That clock scared me. All right. Now let's see. All right, so we go in here, and I bet you that little key is going to open up that desk. Which is probably going to contain the key to open up room 100. Nope, that's not it. The what? Hold on. It said something else. I missed it. Damn it. Alright, let's see. Key items. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. This key goes to room 100. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, gonna have to deal with the horrible smell, and I don't have a weapon. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure you can kiss the small piece that I've experienced, well, eerie, but peace nonetheless, that I've been experiencing here at the school goodbye. Alright, let's see what horrible atrocities await me in room 100. Oh, it's probably going to be something horrible and traumatizing. All right. Oh, dear God. Sweet Jesus. Ah. Uh, love what you've done with the place. It's so red and rustic and... What the fuck did you do to that poor person? Seriously. I'm not gonna step on that. Like, did you, like, spray their blood all over the damn room? It's a mannequin. The lower body is human, but the reddest is completely made out of plastic. Found it. The key to the cafeteria. The thing is breathing. And I feel uncomfortable. I'm getting the fuck out of here. It's gonna chase me, isn't it? It's gonna chase me, isn't it? I figured! Locking it. Locking it! Ha! Dickhead. What's this? Teacher abuses students for own satisfaction. The 53-year-old teacher, Aoto Inoue, was recently accused of torture by an anonymous student from Yamanashi Academy. She claimed that the teacher admitted that he'd felt satisfaction by simply looking at live female mannequins. 
Therefore, he would force his female students inside a mannequin's body during his classes, which led to serious breathing difficulties for multiple girls. The accuser started crying during her appearance in court, stating, Noah should burn in hell. Amaya Ito, 20th of February, 1990. Ugh. Ugh. That is some fucked up shit, man. I'm probably gonna die, aren't I? Nobody in here. Oh shit, did I just lock a student in there? Was that student alive? Nope, not dealing. Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna take the chance. Besides, in all honesty, they're probably dead. So, wait, it said the key was breathing? The key leads to the southern cafeteria. I can lock it to go in, but also lock it to make sure nobody's following me. Hmm. Right then. Right then. Is there like a way to save? I'm hoping there's a way to save. There's probably like saving points in here. Alrighty, snowflakes. Are... How do you, can you? Anyway. All right. Yeah, I nearly got killed. Fucking. All right, let's do it. The doors did not swing. Hmm. I'm a lock this just in case. There we go. Blood splotch. Not walking in that. That leads to certain death. Okay, so what's in medicine? Medicine. Cool. All right. I should probably search the potted plant. It's a typical Japanese plant. It can survive up to 20 years without water. Jesus. That is one hardy plant. All right. What else is around here? It's on the radiator. Oh, I did not mean to go through the door. Alright, what horrors await me in a rusty heater. It feels really cold. Ah, oh, shit. Did I bug out the gate? Ah, tits. Shit. Shit, yep, I bugged out the game. It's, it's stuck on the heater thing. Ah, oh, no. Fuck. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to have to leave it here, folks. Uh, it seems that I bugged out the game by somehow looking at the radiator while going into the door, so now it's stuck and I, I can't get out of that uh, prompt. So, uh, thoughts so far? It's, I think this is a really cool game. I am loving the atmosphere. I am loving the whole ps1 art style and just the feel of resident evil i'm so psyched to be playing this game i definitely want to finish it it's only a demo so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get as far as i can get and then i'm gonna have to wait for the full thing to be released but once it is released oh believe me i will play the hell out of that game in any case this has been the voice at 106.7 thank you all so much for watching and um i'll i'll uh i'll see you in my legs in my next upload Ah, uh, I'm so excited for this game. In any case, ciao.